What's up guys, so for today's video, I have got one trick to help you guys understand counter steering so that you never have to worry about it again. You're never questioning if you're doing the right thing. This one trick will help you and it is super simple. You don't have to have anybody else. You don't even have to take the bike out of the garage or off the side stand. But first, what is counter steering? So counter steering is the action of applying pressure to either side of the handlebars in order to go in the desired direction. Press left to go left, press right to go right. So most people think by pressing left on the handlebar, they're gonna turn the wheel to the right, which in turn will turn the bike to the right, which would be incorrect. By applying pressure to the left handlebar, you will create lean in the motorcycle, allowing it to turn left. It's a super simple concept, but even myself, when I first started riding my first motorcycle safety course, I struggled with it and the instructor showed me another way to demonstrate this, but I wanna show you guys this way because it doesn't require anybody else's help. You can do it right now in your garage, walk out there, test this theory, and I will show you guys right now. So we've got our bike on the side stand. I'm gonna be in the front of the bike facing the windshield. So for this situation, this will be my left handlebar. This will be my right handlebar since we are in a flipped position. And all I'm gonna be trying to do is get the bike's weight off of the side stand by only applying pressure to either one of the sides of the handlebars. So to get the weight of the bike to move to the left, to get to its balanced position, I'm gonna be pushing on the left handlebar just like this. Now, if I was to do the exact same thing, but push on the right handlebar, you guys will see nothing is gonna happen. See, and it actually pushes to the right. And here's one more angle to demonstrate how this works. So to get the bike to shift to the left, I'm gonna push on this left handlebar it comes up super easy and same thing as before if i was to push on this side the bike doesn't want to go anywhere it wants to lean to the right so we're going to push to the direction that we want to go so now that we know what counter steering is when the bike is not moving it's time to put it to the test when the bike is moving assuming that most of us enjoy riding our bikes and not just looking at them in the garage either way same principles are going to be applied if i want to go to the left i'm going to push left and as you can see the front handlebars the wheel is going to turn to the right causing the bike to lean to the left making you end up going to the left and same thing applies if i want to go to the right i'm going to push pressure on the right handlebar as you can see, the wheel is going to turn to the left, causing the bike to lean into the right, causing me to go right, aka counter steering. Oops. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to be leaving my body position and everything else relatively neutral. That way I can really show you guys how counter steering actually works and how easy it really is. So from here, I'm going to turn left. Push left, push, 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 let off. Easy, easy, easy. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Push left, push, 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 bike leans. We're gonna keep going around the corner. Push, 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 back up. And now we're gonna go to the right. So I'm gonna push, 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 push. Body position staying neutral, bike is leaning. We are pushing to the right to go to the right, which makes the bike lean and veer to the right. And you guys can get really exaggerated with it. Like you can push really hard, push. You can see that the bike is going to lean and turn in the direction you wanna go. So for this next example, I'm gonna be trying to turn to the right. I'm gonna try to put it in slow motion so that way you guys can see the instance that I start to push on the handlebar, the wheel's gonna to turn to the left but the bike is gonna lean in and turn to the right. So check this out. So now we know pushing right goes right, pushing left goes left. Counter steering works in almost every situation, whether you're changing lanes, making a 90 degree turn, doing figure eights, doing circles, anything that you're practicing in the parking lot, everything is going to require counter steering. So if I was to start doing figure eights here in the lot spaces, 
I'm gonna be pushing left. Push left, a little bit of counterbalancing. But I have to initiate that turn by pushing to the right. Initiate the turn by pushing to the left. Get the bike to lean over. Initiate the turn by pushing to the right. And from here, it's all the same thing. If I want to go straight into doing some circles, I'm keeping constant pressure on my right hand. You can see as I let up, the circle gets wider. As I push tighter and tighter, the circle gets tighter. Or excuse me, as I push harder, the circle gets tighter if I let off. Still pushing, still going to the right. Just less and now more. And same thing to the left. Push to the left, the harder I'm pushing, the tighter the circle, the tighter the circle. And all of this is great practice. So if you are not familiar with any of these drills, definitely look up some motorcycle drills to do around counter steering. All right guys, well with that, I think that explains everything that I personally know about counter steering. I do want to clarify, I am not a motorcycle instructor. I am not certified in any way to teach any of these things. I'm just trying to bring awareness to other people and with the first part of the video, show you examples of how these things work in real life because I was confused at one time, so I know other people are a little bit confused. So I wanted to make this video and hopefully help somebody out. If you did, please make sure, give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and that's going to do it for this one, guys.